Hello everyone, my name is Appleguy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. In the previous video, we beat the Heart Home City Gym to claim our third gym badge. I want to go ahead and show that off really quickly. Did we show that off in the last video? I don't think we did. I don't think we did. I don't think we showed off the badge. That's it, right down there. Um, as I said in the previous video, there used to be badge number 5 in Diamond and Pearl, so that's why it's placed down on the second row. Uh, cool. So that is that. Is that. Nice! Okay, shout out to the meme pad. Right, so we have a couple of things we need to get into before we leave. Um, first off, why don't we talk to this lady? Hiya! Oh, you're a trainer! That means you're using Pokemon boxes. I love meeting end users. Oh, what's up? Why that astonished look? Oh, right, sorry. There I go, running my mouth again. My name's Bebe! You know, the PC Pokemon boxes? I'm the system administrator. I know this is out of blue, but do you want a Pokemon named Eevee? We do. Here you go! That Eevee I got is from a good friend in Johto who has a whole lot of them. Who knows how many Eevees he's raised over the years. Sorry, that doesn't mean anything to you. Please, be good to it. So, this is Bebe, she runs the Pokemon Boxes system, and she's going to give us a free Eevee! That's nice, that's neat. Not going to use it this playthrough, but Eevee can evolve into like six different things in this game, so it's it's wonderful. Actually, is it six? Jolteon, Flareon, Vaporeon, those are the original three, and then it's, um, uh, Espeon's, um, not Sylveon, Espeon, Umbreon, and then Leafeon, Glaceon, so I guess seven. Uh, so now instead of someone's PC, it'll say Bebe's PC, and we can use that to move our Pokemon. Um, we do also have a nickname to go over. I finally gave uh, Gibble a nickname. And I came up with this one on my own. After um, looking at some suggestions online. So basically, there are places... Oh, his name is Saber, by the way. <laughs> I guess I'll just reveal it now. Yeah, his name is Saber. So there are places online who say um, that have Pokedex entries. And they say that one of them shows that Gibble's final evolution moves like a jet engine or a jet plane. So I was trying to find a cool jet plane, and, and the one they provided on the website was Raptor. And Raptor's pretty cool, but I thought Saber was a nice nickname. And, you know, I, I just thought it would be cool. Thunder Mifflin is a part of Sabre. Okay, moving on. People might get that joke, people might not. This is the Pokemon's fan club. We need to talk to the, the, the guy here. This is the president. Oh, hello, hello. How I say, do you do? I'm the Pokemon fan club chairman. Indeed, yes, I am. When you wish to treat your Pokemon to treat, what I say, do you do? If I may say so, and I will. I feel Poffins to my Pokemon. And why, I say, would I do that? Because to give off Poffins is a way of expressing your love. For example, if I were to give you a sweet Poffin, the Pokemon eating it would become more cute. For example, a spicy Poffin will add a touch of coolness to a Pokemon. In many such ways, I say that Poffins have nothing but good effects for Pokemon. Therefore, I declare this Poffin case to be a gift from me to you. We can make Poffins now. That's cool. That is in the Poffin kitchen uh, nearby. And uh, we can combine berries to get out Poffins. That's neat. Was there anything else I had to do? No, it was the nickname. Yeah, nickname, Bebe, and now we can leave. Okay, cool. So we are heading out the right side to the uh, the east. I talked to that guy already. Yes, we can head uh, over here and try and go south, but I believe they are blocking the road to conduct an interview. The contests are interesting, but the roots of Salacian Town are as well. All right. <gasps> Oh, I wanna, that that was good music. Okay, <laughs> all right. Um, let, let's head out to the uh, to the east. Then this will lead us to Salacion Town. I have a professor friend, and this is what he told me. If you leave a pair of Pokemon with a daycare, sometimes eggs are found, or things that are like eggs. Anyway, I wonder how my pal Professor Elm's doing these days. He's always quite a sort and didn't really stand out. Professor Elm is from the games in the Sinnoh region, so you know that's cool. I'm trying to get this guy's eyes to do the funny thing. You can make his eyes be like two pixels wide instead of one pixel wide. Um, yeah, I can't seem to do it. I was able to do it on the other one. Whatever. All right, let's go through this gate. <gasps> it's Barry. Ta-da! You kept running into me again, Apple. Let's see how much tougher you are. And I've gone right here, right now. Hey, you're a trainer now. You better be best expecting for a battle. No whining, no waiting. Let's get the show started. This is Barry. He's going to battle us. Why? because he wants to lose. So he's got four Pokemon, I have four Pokemon. They are significantly higher level <laughs> than mine. So that's probably not the best. I switched Corona to the front because Stravia is here and I'm hoping to hit a spark and, and just one shot it. Oh, he's going for double team first. That shouldn't be too big of a pro Oh, I have to hit through double team now, okay. See, double team is a very slippery slope where pretty much if you miss the first one, you're probably gonna miss the rest of them. But we got lucky with the spark. Should do it in one shot, right? No, half, half, half. Okay, that's fine. Oh yeah? I'll show you something wicked too! Okay. 
do that then. My chair just made that, that noise, by the way. I don't know why. When I first got my chair, it was really, really nice. And now it, it just creaks a lot. So, Also, we're getting completely destroyed by Stravia's quick attacks. All right, here we go for Spark. Good. There we go. Nice. All right, where, what's my plant next? Okay. Nice. 301. Hey, level up 21. 21. Nice. And no new moves, unfortunately. Barry's gonna send in the Ponyta, so I'll send out Picante for that. And just hope to um, get the get the punch on it. Wink, wink. If uh, if you catch my drift, what my plan is here, I'm gonna try and hit the punch on it. Mock punch. I'm gonna use mock punch. It should be fast enough. I don't know if it'll do. Oh no, it's gonna take like four to do it with mock punch. I think this is for the best though. I don't think the Ponyta can do too too much damage to me. Um, and I'll just end up switching out after this anyway. Okay, it does like 9 per. Can I get a critical, please? Nah, I was like, whoa, hey, leftovers, nice. Thanks for like the one. Oh, Shell Bell, not even leftovers. Leftovers are an item that does nearly the same thing. I think leftovers do it after each turn, though, instead of randomly. There we go. Oh, there's the critical. Thanks, Picante. A little late on that one. Hey, and thanks for the 1 HP as well. That's only useful if I end up with 1 HP. Okay, nice. Um, okay, so what is my plan now? Saber to level 23 as well, nice. Ah, <sighs> the Prinplup, the problem child. Prinplup is fast. Prinplup is very fast. And that speed is scary. I'm going to try to hit it with Corona. Hopefully it goes for a setup move with like, some sort of, like with like a growl or something. I doubt that though, it's far too smart. Either way, at least the Intimidate will cut some of the attack. Please! No! It's using Bubble Beam! That's not good, because the Bubble Beam is very, very dangerous. <sighs> what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? <laughs> okay. So... Um... I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. If the Quick Claw triggers right now, I will be the most upset I've been in my entire life. No! What? Why? Why? Why would you? Why would you go first? Why would you outspeed first? That doesn't make any sense. That's that's so angering. I, my plan was to get hit with the bubble beam and then use Endeavor, um, but now I'm gonna get like one shot by it, and I'm gonna use Endeavor now, and it's gonna. Oh, 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 hold on! This is 100 IQ. This, this is like 4,000 IQ. That's genius. That's genius. Because, and I'll explain how this is genius. Hold on. Skywalker was a sacrifice. Skywalker was a decoy. So that Picante can come in. No one's expecting Picante. Barry's like, what are you doing? He's like, weak to my punch. Yeah? Mock punch for for priority should do enough damage. There we go. Nicely done, team. Also, I get one HP. 51. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. That was good. I'm actually very proud of that play. Uh, Roselia, right. So then we'll just keep, we'll keep uh, Picante in here. We'll just hit it with one flame wheel. It should be that. I'm going to move the uh, XP share back to Corona, by the way, because uh, Saber has a lot of experience. It looks like he's a corn in the body, doesn't he? Looks like corn. Super effective. We got him. Easy peasy. And thanks for the one. I I'm going to go heal up after this. Doesn't really matter for Conte. 373 EXP points and 373 for Saber as well. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Yeah, it's like the second time I beat you. Third time? Wah! It goes to show my surefire winning strategy doesn't work. Say, hey Apple, remember what I told you before? Make sure all your attacks hit. Avoid every enemy attack. I thought that was a wicked strategy, but it doesn't work with beans. <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess I have to grind it out and dump it. <laughs> it's not worth beans. The writers had fun with this one, didn't they? I guess I have to grind it out a bit and toughen up the team a bit at a time. Anyway, I'm off to Silesian Town. See you, Apple. You'll be shocked by my growth next time we meet. And away he goes. I'm gonna heal the Pokemon. I'll be back. Alrighty, we are back, and we're about to hear some of the best music in the game, in my opinion. So, can I get on the bike? Yeah, I can. Okay. I'm gonna get on the bike for just a second to reset the song. So, um, before I go any further, I want to explain that this song sounds a lot like 21 Guns by Green Day. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and like, sing along-ish to help you guys hear it. So I'm gonna get off the bike, right? So it goes... One, mm, 21 guns, mm, lay down your... Oh, right, so that's what people think it sounds like. And there's versions of people where they mix them together. They're great. 
Uh, I just wanted to point that out because I think it's very funny too. So I figured I'd point that out. All right, this item ball now. It was a great ball. There was a Pokeball and inside the Pokeball was a great ball. That doesn't make much sense now, does it? All right, there's a trainer there to fight. I think this guy gives me a new rod. Hmm, a good rod is really good. Wouldn't you agree? I would agree. Hmm, we're of identical minds. Hmm, take this good rod. So that's the better fishing rod. It can catch things other than a Magikarp or not a Magikarp if you're me, um, because I'm not good. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I didn't mean to. No, I don't need to explain the fishing rod again. Thank you. Okay. So uh, we've got we've got some trainers to battle here. Why don't we just go ahead and take some of them out? I don't think we'll get all the way through the route today, but we'll get we'll get as far as we can. I don't know how long this video will be. I know I don't know how long any of the videos will be, but I usually have a timer. But right now it's not counting time correctly because I had to do some lengthy cuts. Usually if I'm only cutting like a couple seconds out, I can be like, oh, it says this video's been going on for, for X minutes. It's probably X plus or minus 30 seconds. This one, I think I'm like 10 minutes off on the counter. So, you know, I like to keep my videos under anywhere from 10 to 15, 16 minutes. And, and Pokemon episodes tend to get out of hand quickly. Um, but, you know, whatevs. I'm sure... I'm sure I'll figure it out. Okay, so I'm just gonna get through these guys as quick as I can. It's for me, it's a lot of just one shots. Okay, I say as Eevee hangs on with like one hit point. So sorry, Eevee, you're clearly better than I am. And you're gonna hit me with the sand attack. Make me slightly less accurate. Don't miss. I did miss. And boop, there we go, it's gone. I think this guy said he had four Pokemon, right? What was the first one? It was uh, Badu. Is he, all, is he using all babies? Uh, yeah, he's using all babies. Okay. So they added a lot of different Pokemon in this game that are called babies. Basically, instead of having a new Pokemon, they would just take an old one and give it a pre-evolution. Usually these would only be found in eggs, and this is the route that has the daycare, as that guy mentioned before. So, you know, that is why we are doing all these babies. Also, the flail sound is still terrible. It's, it's a little bubbled and it sounds like he's slamming into concrete on both sides. We're fine. We're gonna get by. This should be level 25 for Picante as long as he wouldn't keep healing himself for two health. It's better than one health, I guess. Hey, level 25! We're making our way up in the world, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay, and a Pichu. There we go. Just clean house with Picante's Mach Punch. And a couple flame wheels. One flame wheel, two flame wheels. Urgh! He just punches it. I like to imagine this. He's like... Go, Pichu! And the Pichu comes out, and then I'm like, Picante, just punch it. And he goes, Ah, I'm a Pichu! I got punched! Also, thanks for the paralysis. That's just cost me like 150 Poké Dollars to fix. Good stuff! Pokémon are in impeccable condition! Yeah, I know they is. You don't gotta tell me. I know. I know. I know I gotta go into my medicine now. Uh, berries. Petra Berry? Do I have a Petra Berry? Oh, Cherry Berry. No, I don't mean... Stats. Oh, let's check the tag. If you use it in a Poffin, it'll give this. We'll explain Poffins, I think, like, the end of the series. Uh, Poffins are useless for actual gameplay. Alright, so there's this dude jogging. There's another set of twins. What's up here? Oh, it's these. Petra Berry? Lepa Berry, I'll take it. I like me some berries. I do, I do. Alright, and I like Chesto Berries too. Nice. All right, so I think what I want to do is wait to do all of these trainers in the next video because there's a lot to explore and I don't want to rush through it. So that's going to be all for today's episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me you guys spend my videos around the internet like you do. Put in your discords, put in your Instagram stories, all that wonderful stuff. I'll see you guys back here next time. Until then, as always, take care.